Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Shruti Bajaj, Director and Consultant Clinical Geneticist at the Purple Gene Clinic, Mumbai. So we often have patients who walk into us with some genetic tests done, for example, chromosomal microarray, clinical exome sequencing, whole exome, whole genome sequencing, and they find it difficult to interpret these results. In today's session, we'll try to understand broadly what are these various types of genetic results. So these results can be classified into three subtypes. The first one is a clear cut positive, which means that the genetic change, the genetic variant that has been detected is highly likely to be the cause of the person's clinical symptoms. Then there's a second type, which is what we call as a negative result. The report will come back completely clear. And it means that if you're looking for a genetic disease still, you maybe need to look through another test or through another lens. But this particular test hasn't found anything. Then there is a third type of genetic result, which is uncertain. As the name suggests, it could be either causative or it may be an innocent finding. Let's try and draw an example. Say if a person has lost a ring in the ocean and we want to retrieve it back. Looking for one genetic error within the entire genome can be like looking for a tiny ring in the ocean. And say if I throw a net into the ocean and if my net comes back empty, it doesn't mean that I haven't lost something in the first place, right? It means I need to look for it again at another place, maybe through another lens. In the same way, a negative genetic result does not rule out the possibility of a genetic disease. Now, let's take another scenario wherein someone throws in the net, but a piece of metal comes in which is of uncertain significance. We are not sure if it is a piece of the ring or it is a piece of junk. Now, in such case, we need to investigate further. So in a similar scenario, if your genetic result shows an uncertain finding, your doctor may ask you for some further test, maybe more family members, blood tests, certain x-rays, uh, some um, biochemical investigations. And this is only to be able to draw more evidence, more clarity in order to help you to arrive at a conclusion. We understand that uh, interpreting genetic results is not a child's play. It requires thorough clinical correlation, a deep knowledge about the subject, um, an insight about the surprises that this test can throw at us. If you have any doubt regarding such a scenario, we'll be happy to guide you. Thank you so much. If you like this video, you can subscribe to the Purple Gene Clinic.